Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. My goodness me, it's been a little while since I've been on here, but I have been busy. Um, I've made, you saw the white rabbit that I made for Karen, and I made a purple one for my granddaughter, which I haven't been able to um, do a video on, I'm afraid, because I was in a rush to get it done. But today I'm going to share with you this beautiful gift that I was given from Janet Hicks um, when I went to see her um, last week. Um, as you know, Andrea um, Allen of Artie Mays and her sister Janet Hicks and I, um, for the last few, two, well, I don't know how many years now, we get together every two weeks and we have crafting days together. And it is just so much fun. I mean, you can imagine what it's like being with such two lovely, um, really fun, talented ladies. But anyway, because of COVID, for 18 months we didn't, although we were very much in touch, and I think it was about a month ago we got back together and we made some paper, handmade paper. And the last time we met we were painting on fabric. So I'll, if you, um, sorry, if you go over to Andrea's channel, I'll put the link below. She shows a beautiful journal that Janet made from fabric by just painting horrible bits of fabric that she didn't like you know when you get the really slippery slimy ones that are no good for nothing or you might have a bit of upholstery fabric that you don't quite like well she just painted them and she made this incredible journal and of course me and Andrea want to have a go so Andrea and I are doing it and uh, so that's what we're doing at the moment so we're getting together again next Thursday anyway so when I went to see them last Thursday, this beautiful, I'll move that a second, beautiful little thing was in my like seating area and I picked it up and I went, oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Who made this? And Janet said she did. And she said, I quote, I just threw it together while I had visitors. Now, Janet's work is outstanding, as you know, and I nearly cried when she gave me this. But to think that she just threw this little fabric book together. Now, she calls it like a just because book. I think she was um, inspired by a lady called, oh my gosh, Susan something brown. But I'll link her below as well because I follow her. Um and Andrea was given one as well and this was mine and I really want to show you this and um, I said to Janet that I am going to just put beads and blingy bits and charms on it because she's made it so that I can add my own bits and pieces and there's pockets in this so that I can fill it with whatever but she basically said that this is all from little scraps that she has in a box um, she's got here and the story begins and there's some beautiful crocheting here that she's done um, quite some time ago she said and then she's just layered up different bits of fabric here if I open it like that oh there you go you can see um, that it's a very this almost looks like tree bark this um, upholstery fabric and she is just basically stitched all her scraps together there's a printed lady here it's actually a stamp and this fabric has got a very soft almost like um oh my gosh um like a fur velvet that's what i'm trying to think of velvet feel to it and again she's stamped irresistible here and she's just layered it and layered it and layered it and it's just absolutely stunning so we'll open up the first page and I, I just love this. I really feel I'm going to see if she's got any more of this because I would like to paint that and use it for like a fairy journal for a wooded bit. But you can see that the pages are all different sizes. Nothing's been cut out in a any sort of way that makes it exact or precise. It's all just like she said, thrown together. But I just love it. And I've got all this beautiful stuff going on down here and there's layers and layers that she's just hand stitched together i love this heart and she's done a little bit of slow stitch in there so that's the first page and then look at this this is a bit of embroidery she said she did a long time ago um i think uh i think she either drew it yeah i think she drew the rose on and i love this 
the way she's couched down this group of um, threads, like a wool, and made this. I mean, it's just amazing. And then she's got green in the background. So that's another little page. And then we've got another one. And this is one of Janet's flowers that she makes. And she's got a little bit of embroidery here. And again, underneath, you can see this beautiful crocheted piece. And again, nothing's been cut out precise. It's literally been put together um, as a, you know, well, it's just amazing. I just love it. And then here we've got a pocket in here. So if I just show you, so she's put a pocket in there. So I'm going to make a little something to go in there. I might make a fabric tag or something. And she's done lazy daisies on this piece and some, oh, I don't know what sort of stitching that is. It looks like chain stitch actually on that page. And then you turn over and then again, she's just layered up scraps of fabric with lace on top. And this is a script stamp that she's um, sewn on here. And now in this one, she's put a tea bag. Now, this is also a fantastic idea of Janet's and she got me into doing this. But in places like Aldi and Tesco's and anywhere, really, you can buy these herbal tea um, bags and uh, she uses them to actually put smell into her journals. And the thing is, they're not overly perfumed. So if you're someone that finds it really difficult to have um, real perfume stuff around you, these are ideal. And if you don't want to use the bits inside, you've got a tea bag there that you can use for anything in your journals, really. Now, this was quite funny because she said that this was me on a bad day because <laughs> I've got black hair. And, uh, well, what what can I say about that, really? But uh, I, I said she's not far from the truth. <laughs> and again, she's made another pocket on this side. So I'll just show you in there so I can put something there. And again, it's just layers and layers of different fabrics. And there's a pocket. Oh, look at that. Now, I didn't even notice that. Pocket that side and a pocket that side. So that's very clever how she's done that. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, I've got a bit of work to do there. I'm sorry I'm fidgeting. I'm just trying to show you every little bit. And there's a little tab there. And then on this page, we've got friendship, the most something gift of. And again, she's put all these little bits of thread and fabrics things that we would normally throw away that's me when I'm thinking I reckon when I've got my hair up in a ponytail <laughs> and then she's got fun here um, and this really does represent Janet to me because she is so much fun and just look at all the little tiny bits of scrappy things that she's just layered up and the pocket is in the top of this one so I've got somewhere to put something there and I love this on the back. She's done a little, like a snippet of a heart. And she's sewn on lots of red thread. She's left all of the stringy bits. Again, she's got these wool fibres coming down from behind. She's got Brave there. And a little flower that's layered up here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then she's put a little white um, safety pin there. And then look at that on this side as well. I love it all layered up and she's put um, this beautiful flower motif on top of all these tons and tons of layers and in here this is like a little um, I think it's a cinnamon bag that she's made so it hasn't got lavender in it but uh, it's absolutely beautiful and I love it and it smells divine and I might just embellish that a bit so that's in the back there so, uh, wow. So that was just, and she made one for Andrea as well, completely different, of course. And that was just something she threw together. So I really wanted to share that with you. And I might come back and show you when I do get around to just putting my little bits and pieces on there, a few beads and, you know, whatnot. But anyway, this is what I've made for a gift for Janet. Now, it was Janet's birthday. Sorry, I've just knocked the camera back in April and I, I was unwell for a few months so I got very behind on a lot of things that I was making and poor soul is waiting for her birthday present so this is one of them 
Um, but I finished it this week and I thought that I would show you. And I know that if I tell Janet not to watch the video, she won't. So I'm quite happy to show you. So what I've done here is this is a bag that I've tea stained out of some ordinary fabric. And I love the way this has all turned out. It's got like a watermark going through. And it's just a drawstring bag. Um, I'll just pull it out to show you before I take out inside. So there you go. Just a basic drawstring bag. And I used some of this beautiful coppery um, sort of toned um, organza ribbon that I already had in my stash. In fact, most of this I've already had in my stash anyway. Now this charm I've had quite some time and I have lost one of the feet on the owl, but I don't care. He's beautiful and I wanted to put it on something for Janet. So this is where he's going to live. So that's that. Now this here is one of my fabric snippet tags and I've um, stamped out seeds of friendship bring flowers of joy on there. And that's the back of that and I've done a bit of fussy stitching and a bit of blanket stitch around there and then this here sorry this here is an, a bit of fabric that I've tea stained and I've sewn this little bit of a doily onto the front and then I've tea stained these flowers and I've sewn that there and I've just left it like that um, I might stamp something on the back I might not but it was just basically a little background for all these lovely little dangly bits here and that's attached with a bulb pin and then inside if i just pull it out i have made her let's get this the right way a snippet roll um now janet loves grungy she loves pretty as well but i really wanted to make her a grungy snippet roll so this is what i came up with again my husband very kindly made the um spool and because he didn't put a hole right the way down through like he did when I made one for Andrea I've just used this piece of sari silk to tie around it and then I made this charm here while well, I put together these bits and pieces to create this little dangle charm because the weight of that just holds it like that so I don't have to worry about tying it up and it will sit there quite happily so these are very difficult to show, but I will do it and hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, this took me quite some time to make, but I absolutely loved every part of it. So here we've got like a little couple of beads there. We've got some mother of pearl um, from a necklace. Be I don't know what you call them. They're not really buttons. And then this old um, vintage uh bits of jewellery there and that's been pinned on behind the flower and then I've made some Suffolk puffs and this one's got lots of glass beads on it and that one's got a little um, a bead um, cap and then I've got a little sea bead in the middle and then we've got a mother of pearl button and then I'll turn it this way so you can see hopefully um, I'm trying to bring it up. But there we go. So what I've basically done is my usual. I've stamped on to fabric. This has all been tea stained. Um, this is all bits of scraps from my stash. Um, the beads have all been recycled, mainly from old necklaces and jewellery that I get given or find. And I've done like ruffles here. These are some embroidery flowers. You know that I use them quite a bit in my projects. And, you know, I've just tried to put bits of metal. That's a beautiful dark metal flower there that's on a piece of chain. Some more mother of pearl buttons. And it goes on. And I've layered it like I normally do on my snippet rolls. Layered it all up. This is all the top bits and pieces. But, you know, a lot of work goes on underneath. So you get all these different bits of fabric. That says friendship. Um, there is a tutorial on here of how I make my snippet rolls if you are interested that's a part of a necklace there I think or some sort of jewellery and it's a leaf or a branch so I've attached that with some chain that's a, um, a popper or a snap with a bead cap in the middle and then we've got a vintage button there 
some leaf trim, a bow with a bead. I've got this here. <laughs> I've got a scarf, a beautiful um, lace scarf, and there's tons of these hanging off it. And every now and again, one will drop off and I'll save it. So I've sewn it on here and there could be another one on here as well. I can't, I think there is, but I can't quite remember. That says life is beautiful. There are some more bead caps there, another vintagey, like a shell button there. And I've just done it in creams and bronze and gold. There's a, uh, what they called, cameo there, which I've glued onto a, oh, you know, you get those metal frames and I've painted that. And then here we've got a charm of a little bird. And I tried to make a little nest here by putting together, I think this is a bit of um, ruffle like here that I've made into a nest and I've put some eggs in. So, you know, he's got a nest there and he's attached with chain. We've got all this different eyelash trim that says trust and there's loads of little sea beads there. Another one of those and here's another ruffle with beads. So I really hope that she likes this. And here I've got a chain going down through with a clock because I dearly love clocks. And hiding under here, you've got a little square mother of pearl button that says love. And there's another Suffolk puff there. And that's a cog, vintage button, another vintage button. All bits and pieces. There's some beads there that says vintage. And we move along. And I love this bit here. Um, so it says memories and then I've sewn all these little bits of branch um, and there's this little, this is from a necklace, this bird, and I've attached it to chain and attached that to the corners there. There's another couple of vintage buttons and then we've got another Suffolk puff. There's a little thistle charm there that I've tied on, sewn on and then tied on some gold thread. There's a little bronze heart charm there and then we get into the end so I've sewn this on a little bit differently than what I usually do so I like the end of it and I wanted the end to be free there's a little bird there like a dove carrying um or what was it olive branch or something and he's hanging there another Suffolk puff and then I've attached it to some fabric now this was the fabric that I used on this in the background so you can see it's got like roses on it and I just tea stained it so that is for Janet one of her very late birthday presents I really hope she likes it like I said if you're interested in looking at my tutorial just um, click below because I will put a tutorial link to this and uh, you know but there's lots of ladies out there that make snippet rolls so you I'm sure you'll find somebody if you know you don't want to watch one of mine which is absolutely fine um, but it was such a pleasure and all of this the top layer has been hand stitched none of that has been machined and all these little glass beads and dangly bits and pieces and then we come back to there so that's Janet's anyway thank you for watching everybody um, I've got to get on and finish, I'll just roll this back up, her other present and then I will show you that and it is a journal so uh, I'm trying to crack on with that now and then long last poor poor Gita will be getting her, um, her journal that I've owed her for six months now from the swap that we did of the fairies. So that's that. So thank you for watching, everybody. Go and check out Janet's channel. I'll link below the fabric painted journals that Andrea showed of Janet's. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Lots of love. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.